I'm fascinated with making compost extract, and I'm not talking about compost tea or leachate. This is a super easy way to inoculate soil with a diverse array of biology. Did you know that just one teaspoon of high quality vermicompost or worm castings can contain over 1 billion microbes? That is a ton of life, but one teaspoon of worm castings will only go so far in the garden. That's why making an extract is such an efficient form of distribution. When applied to the soil or plant roots, these microbes will work directly with plants, providing them with valuable organic nutrients. For supply you're going to start off with a five gallon bucket filled with water. Using rainwater is best, but use whatever you have. The next thing that you'll need is one cup of a finished high quality compost, such as worm castings or homemade compost, which will be full of indigenous microorganisms, better able to withstand your microclimate. And then you want to load your compost into something like a fine mesh bag or an old t-shirt and even an old sock would do. Now place your compost directly into the water and begin to massage it for approximately one minute. And during this time, the water will separate most of the biology from the compost. And after you're done, the solids don't have to go to waste. They can be used as a soil amendment or you can add them to your compost. You can apply this solution full strength or you can cut it at a ratio of one to one. And from there you can use a watering can to apply it to pre-moistened soil or you can load it into a pressurized sprayer with some additional filtering that I recommend and then you can apply it directly to plant leaves or the roots of new transplants. This isn't something that can be stored so you'll need to use it promptly. As a bonus I added some Neptune's Harvest fish fertilizer for an extra boost. There are significant differences between compost extract and and compost tea. Most often compost tea is aerated. This adds oxygen into the process and it has a long brew time, typically 24 to 36 hours. And additional ingredients will be added to boost microbial populations. Inputs such as humic acid, which acts as a buffer to microbes, as well as kelp and molasses, which feed microbes. And you'll need an air pump to agitate those materials over the course of the brew time. Compost tea can go wrong and become anaerobic, as well as the microbes will die off rapidly after it's brewed. With either approach, we don't know what we have unless we examine it under a microscope. With the goal of adding biological diversity to our soil, I feel like compost extract is an easier and safer option. Keep it organic.